Thank you, Chris. Um, this Welcome to the Deerfield Select Board um, November 1st, 2016 meeting here at 7 o'clock in the evening. Um, first item on the agenda is our minutes, which I'm sorry, I did not have time. They are still in draft form. Um, what I can do is pass them out. They should be in our packets. Are these, yeah, these are the 26? Yeah. Okay. Um, and just, um, I had made some corrections. Okay. Um, it was the John O'Rourke. Mm -hmm. But then I saw that in the back, Pat did say that we did vote the energy contract. So that I just wanted to make sure that that was in there. Yeah, um, up here, in there. Yeah. You mean move it to here? And and yep. so we had tabled, the, uh, the only other correction was tabling the um, special town meeting. Yes. Um, we are still tabling it, but because we're not really sure well, when we're going to need it. I, I was looking through <coughs> these meetings, minutes, yeah. and there's something under the, the Skims housing, and it says that I'll talk to Lynn Carey and work on, what does Lynn have to do with that? I mean, I, you know I think, um, yeah, I think the notes okay. did get mixed, messed up. Okay. So I had a question mark on that too. Okay. So, okay. I was going to reach out to her, but that had to do with the con construction contingency withholding for the roof project. I mm. think that's where that yes. should have gone up here. Roof. See? Yep. yep, that goes up there. That goes yep. up there. <laughs> so I was so going to we'll correct these that. and vote next week. Next, yeah, next okay. week, if okay. that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's Is fine. that the only other things that you guys see? I think that's it. Okay. Well, then I'll correct it because that's pretty much what I had to. Okay. I'm, I'm just sorry that I just didn't get in here in time, uh, you know, before Pat left. No problem. Okay. Um, Stillwater Bridge update. Um, we're working on the permits, yep. and it's moving along. Yes. So hopefully. It's getting encouraging yep. news, so yep. it's good. Um, we did receive a donation for $10,000 from Deerfield Academy for oh, the wow. old Albany Road Cemetery. This will match... Um, some CPA funds so they can do restoration work wonderful. this spring. So Thank you so wonderful. much. Yep. Yes. Um, and we did receive, actually receive the money already. Wow. Um, usually we don't have a check that fast, but oh, we yeah. had a check for, it came in um, the end of last week. Great. So that was very nice. Well, thank you very much, Deerfield Academy. Yes. Um, and that was a very needful repair mm. work. Um, the flu shots are available Wednesdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. right here in the town hall um, with the town nurse. So just bring your um, insurance card and come on down. Um, we have no hearings or appearances tonight. We do have, we put off um, requests for com comments. Kip, did you, were you able to find out about this? Um, I did speak with a couple of people, but, um, you know, um, I don't really have much information. Mm. I spoke to Kevin about it, and he didn't believe there was any issues because it all had been done before. To, to town um, code, right? Yep. And, um, <clears throat> I, 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 I remember I the guardrails ha being a big, big deal, and they were done to, to the specs, I'm sure. Yeah, I, until, we, until they come to the planning board, um, I'm not really going to know anything more. I mean, as right. far as I talked with Dick about it briefly, um, and I, I mentioned it to John Waite, but... Um, well, then, no. you know what? Because um, we were supposed to get back to them. Like so um, I, I think what we'll do is just say um, no issues that we know of. Does, does yeah. that feel comfortable? Sure. Yeah, depending yeah, on I, anything I don't. from the planning board. Yep. Okay. And that way we can... That we are aware of. Right. And that way, you know, we can just, if you hear anything, Kip, you can bring it back up. How's okay. that? All right. I mean, I, I vaguely remember that original road, and I know we had huge issues with the guardrails, and they were installed correct, you know, at the correct um, strength for the elevation. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, I don't really remember anything else. Um, the next item on the agenda is the appointment um, of Elizabeth Clark and Bruce St. Peters as poll workers for next uh, week. Great. I make okay. a motion to appoint Elizabeth 
N. Clark and Bruce A. St. Peters. I'll to, second. To be the um, uh, poll workers for the election. Okay. I'll second it. Okay. Actually, I better put this down. Sorry. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you so much for helping. Yes, that's really wonderful. Um, now, uh, the next item on the agenda is to um, approve the sewer mailer and confirm the sewer information night. Yep. Um, Do we have a copy of that? Uh, let's see. It Let should take be a look here if she put one in. Is this it? No, that's I'll the poll worker. Okay. Um, we uh, oh, here it is. I got a copy here. It should be. This is the mailer that was going to go out. There you go. Sure. Uh, do you? Um... You get the sewer bill, right? I do not. Oh, no, nope. I pay for septic. And oh, yeah, me too. Are that. you on septic? Yes. Oh, geez, all three of us are. I was just yep. wondering if someone from a sewer user, would, would that make sense? To have yeah. here as well talking? I think so. You think that makes sense? Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable with this? Uh, I am. I am. I know, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big jump for people. Um, I think long overdue, it should you know, we need to gradually get this going, as we talked about before, but I'm fine with this. I think it should go out, and we should read it at every meeting we can. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I'd like feel, it to be read now. I feel adequately prepared to right. speak on all of those issues. So if there are questions that come up, I, I think I can answer them reasonably intelligent. Do you want me to Please? go through the reading of this? And Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, attention, Deerfield sewer users, uh, fiscal year 2017 billing changes. A sewer study committee has been formed to examine the future needs of the Deerfield wastewater treatment plants and to study the sewer rate and billing structure. Studies have been made, uh, studies have made it abundantly clear that the billing rate has been adequate to support services. With that information in mind, the sewer commissions, commissioners, um, us here, have voted a new sewer rate and have increased the minimum billing and service fee. The changes will begin this fall with the fiscal year 2017 billing. The sewer bills will continue to be billed twice a year based on usage. The fiscal year 2017 rate is $9 per thousand gallons. A minimum sewer user bill will be $100 per billing, approximately 11,000 gallons or less. Um, service fee will be $200 per fiscal year, which is $100 per billing. Abatements for summer use will continue as in previous years. Summer usage bills will not increase more than 25% above residents' own winter usage bills. Abatements are for residential owner-occupied accounts only. No abatements of less than $25. No abatements on minimum bills. The sewer commissions will, commissioners will hold a public forum at the Deerfield Town Hall on November 9th at 6.45 p.m. to answer questions and provide more information. Sewer user residents may address comments to Sewer Commissioners, 8 Conway Street, South Deerfield, Mass, 01373, or email administrator at town.deerfield.ma.us. Could I, could I see that for sure. a second? So... Um, I think we should vote on a motion to send that to, for Barbara. So yes. we're going to make the motion. I make a motion to put that. I'll second it. Mailer in the is there further more discussion? No. Nope. No. Okay. All That's those good. in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So Barbara has clear direction to send this out from mm -hmm. us. Um, how how are we going to organize the informational? Or how do you want to do it, Kip? So <laughs> how, I mean, how do you? I think there'll be plenty of questions. Yeah. I, I, I think we just. <laughs> wing it um you know let the folks you know see what's on their mind ask you questions you, and well you don't want to have sort of sort of a statement or like one sheet handout of you know i i, I think this kind of addresses everything it, it is okay it is pretty simple uh, but you know i would just 
maybe instruct the audience to, to pay attention to the questions so they don't keep asking the same questions over and over, but, um, okay. you know, I... I think the other thing um, I was thinking was, you know, I would read that every meeting, you know, in the meantime, yeah, okay. just to get people aware. Um, Actually, that's a good idea. Well, our, that is at our next our next meeting. Yes, our next meeting, meeting. Yeah. and then you know I'll probably read it again the next just sure. because people I don't know when they get their bills soon probably right this month. I think they're um, going out. I mean, if they're, she's mailing it, it's got to be I going think out so. Soon. It has to go out pretty soon. Um, so you know the the other thing is uh, just oh, to, yeah. to have people aware that this is this year's 2017s. You, yeah, could, you did such a good job. I'm going to have you. Yeah, I'll hang on to it and I'll read, read it, it yep, every time. I will. Okay. Um, the other thing is, this is for 2017, um, and we'll explain at the hearing that um, the sewer study committee is also examining future needs, future um, ways we we bill, um, mm -hmm. times a year that we bill, all kinds of other things, and our future needs, so we can get an idea of how much you know we need to to raise it to to accommodate fixing all the things that need to be repaired. And, and then laying out priorities. And I know that if people are stressed because of um, the financial impact, we will have an abatement system. Mm -hmm. But um, I, my feeling was to, I mean, we can use what the assessors use so that the paperwork doesn't need to be refiled. If, because I'm assuming it would be the same people, people that need that an abatement. Abatement for property tax. But, mm -hmm. um, I, I think we need to see how many people come forward with actual abatement requests and how we're going to manage it mm -hmm. um, before we decide. Do you feel comfortable about that? Mm -hmm. if just saying that we will have an abatement process, but we need to see who we're talking about yeah. or, or I mean, the amount the, of people. Right. Sure. Does and that make sense sure. to you? Yeah, it makes sense Definitely. to see yeah. what's going yeah, on. Yeah, because sure. I, I mean, you don't want to. If it's just a couple of people and they've already filed through the property tax, it makes mm -hmm. sense. We'll just adopt right. the same thing. Yeah. But if there are other, you know, I mean, if we get a, if we're inundated, then we're going to have to come up with some kind of mm -hmm. formal. Yes. Thing. So I mean, does and, and that feel, do you both yeah, feel comfortable we'll, we'll with that? Yeah, we'll study it as it comes. I mean, the main thing is we obviously yeah. need to raise the funds to fix yeah. the stuff. Okay. So. Yeah. And, and we want to take care of people that have a hardship. Right. Yeah, so I mean, legitimately. Absolutely. So people, no one should be stressed. We'll have right. to deal with it as it comes forward. Yeah, yeah. Okay. absolutely. Okay. Because, uh, you know, that was one of the things that we were supposed to be talking about is some kind of abatement. But I, I kind of want to wait and see who we get and the amount we get. Right. The, you know, what the, the number what the real of requests. Need is out there. Yeah. Yeah. And then we can do the f go to the assessors and adopt their way at a minimum. Mm hmm. And that way, people don't have to file multiple paperwork. Right. Right. But if it's way, if we have a huge number and it and it's more than the property tax abatements, then I don't. Then we need to figure out something else. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We'll so we'll not worry about sure. it then. No. Nope. Um, so Trevor, the next thing um, we're going to talk about is the updated for for um, candidates. Oh uh, yes. Town administrator so, candidates. So um, yes. Yeah, so Could the. You just as our representative. I will. I'll read this. Um, so the five-member town administrator screening committee, which I was a member of, chaired by John Cordaire, has conducted their interview and candidate application review process and wish to submit the following names as finalists to the, uh, for the town administrator position. Ira Brzezinski, David DeManche, uh, Natasha Now, and Casey Warren. Um, they are selected... Um, they're scheduled for a joint public uh, interview with us. So what I think this is what happened in the past. Um, they'll be here for a joint interview, uh, a reception beforehand with the public, interview questions by us um, on, on the board here, and then a, and, you know, maybe a mingle and a, a reception after. We really encourage the public to attend, um, and you'll be able to formulate questions and pass forward. I think Wendy's going to moderate, so she'll take questions and pass them forward, and then we'll read them. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the, the public will be encouraged to attend on November 16th, beginning at 5.30 p.m. So there'll be a reception around 5.30, and then maybe around 6 or so we get involved with the, with the uh, questions and, um, and the interview on our part. So, um, again, the names uh, Ira Brzezinski. David DeManche, Natasha Now, if I have that right, Mayu or Now, and Casey Warren. 
So um, we look forward to you all coming out um, to be involved in the process. Wendy, did you want to add anything? Um, all I wanted to say is that these will uh, work with you on developing questions. I'll give you some, but this is your decision. This is your process. I'm helping you, but I'm, mm -hmm. it's ultimately your decision. Sure. Um, how you want it, what questions you want to ask and that kind of thing. But, so, so we yeah. should submit um, questions to you. Yeah, if you have any. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah we can I'll, work I'll, together. I'm going to put packets together for you. And okay. You can look at that. Well, we can we'll develop. Yes. yes. Yeah. We can develop our own questions yeah. and ask the people. Yes, and then we just, they all have they, to be the same. They right. Have to be consistent, consistent questions. Consistent questions of, of That's all why of them. we're going to, like, what, if you okay. could think of the questions, you could funnel it. I mean, obviously, if you have follow up questions. Let me yes. Look at the resumes or and then. I'll send you sample kinds of questions. And choose. Look at what you asked. Last time when you did this process, I yeah. send you those, um, and you can go from there. Hopefully, it'll be more successful this time. I think it will. We have great candidates to look at. Good. Yeah. Yes. You'll be pleased. So, so I'm clear. You want us to make questions, and then she's going to ask them, no, or I, no, no, you're no, 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 you'll, you'll be able okay. to ask. I will put packets together for you, yeah. and um, I'll include questions. And you can choose when you like, so we're writing other things, and we'll, we'll, we'll work with you on that. It's mm -hmm. not a done deal, you know, yeah. it's, it's yours. Okay. Sure. But, right. you, but just following up what Trevor said, the questions would be consistent. So for instance, let's say all four are show up. Um, looks like that is the case right now, but I'm mm -hmm. not certain. Um, uh, but they're here, you would ask, they would all get the same, the same question. question. Um, and, and you just I, start off with different ones, so yeah, not the same person. Yeah, right. would always it, be it first. Each time you change the direction of where. Yeah, and okay. Then there's time. Of, there are people here, as there were quite a few for the last time around three years ago. Or so um, they, this is when I would take a more active role. You'll run the meeting. Mm -hmm. I would just be there to take questions from the audience, and make sure that they were questions that were appropriate. In, make them. You know, yeah. Make sure they are. What, what what I've seen, and and I kind of like is if, say you're going to ask people questions I, I don't particularly like the notion of asking the first person what do you think of red then the next one what do you think of red because then by the time you get to the fourth one I think it creates an unfair advantage that that person has been able to listen to the other responses where I would feel more comfortable asking one person what do you think of red than the next one what do you think of motorcycles and then what do you think of dogs? And going back to the other one at another time, well, what do you think of red? You know, so it kind of like keeps their mind not so focused mm -hmm. on it. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's the same questions, you, but you don't ask. Not in the same say, order. The yeah. Right. The same time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because yeah. it, 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 it gives so people a chance and they get to, you know, criticize in their mind, you know, what this person said. Okay, no, don't do this. You do sound that. better. You know, yeah. and it also, as we're listening, you know, maybe. Our Read poker faces language. aren't going to be that good, and so the other candidates can see, you know, what we're surprised by or, you know, like, and mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't see why you can yeah. do that, because as long as you ask the same question, it's right. interesting. Uh, I think that's a good idea. Um, yeah. Just to let you know, in the, in the screening committee, they uh, suggested, and we did this, a uh, member of the committee suggested putting the questions before the candidates mm -hmm. so they had a chance to see. They were asked nine questions, and, mm -hmm. and they... To, they were able, all of them, to cover all those questions. Um, and um, I don't think that made that much of a difference. Right. You know, we thought they could look at it yeah. a little bit. But they no, were they ready were, to go. They were yeah. on their they feet. Were all good. Yeah. How many people actually applied? I think ultimately, because the couple floated in later, nine. Nine. And you interviewed six. Mm -hmm. And there were four going forward. It wasn't, the goal was to reach consensus, meaning, you know, not, oh, yes, wow, everybody, but at least um, can you live with that and, you know, ultimately with the board. Mm -hmm. Trevor wasn't at the last meeting, but he made his wishes known to the committee. Um, but rather than vote on it, it wasn't like that. It was more of a consensus. Mm -hmm. Good group interviewing. Okay. Yep, I really look forward to it. Right, right now. Yeah. So. That would be good. Thank you. Yep. Wendy, thank you yeah. so much thank you for, all for your doing help. this. It was great. It was very professionally organized. And I've to, um, almost every as of this moment. Oh, good. Including good. the two that were not. Okay. Thank you.
Um, there's just one final thing. Oh, you know what? Before I move on, um, so Kip, were you able to talk to Lynn Carey about the closeout of the roof? I have not yet. Okay. No, that's okay. Um, let me just. I will down see here. her this week if you need anything. We're and, and uh, oh, I, well, what I I so just so you know, I have been a little lax on that issue, but the paperwork and stuff hasn't has not come back yet, or it's not even gone through the state. I see. So uh, it's not like they're going to be surprised. So. Yeah, yeah. You know. no, that's fine. Um, I just am going to say that you're going to follow up for the I minutes. Will. And um, I mean, it's no big deal, but right. I just want to make sure we get the warranties and oh, that I you're, well, I, and you are satisfied. He, I, yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied that all the work has been done. It's the paperwork. I'm still having no, issues and with No, and I, I understand um, totally. And, um, I, I don't still don't understand the whole process, and I've reached out to uh, Pink and Company, and uh, they assured me that the paperwork is going smoothly, maybe slowly but smoothly, um, and uh, you know we're, we're going to hold off any you know final approval until we get those warranties. Well, I wasn't going to sign anything unless right. you were happy. Oh yeah, I, and I, I told them that the only the only thing that uh, I did sign off was the punch list. That, right, you know, and I had you, and actually, I made you sign yeah. it off right. to make sure because yep. you were happy. I did, and so you can just tell Lynn that. Yep. Kip was going to get in touch with her and Great. with the final paperwork, and yep. we yep. were not going to sign off on the final payment until he has it done. He has yep. the warranty and everything. Sure. Okay. That sounds good. Can All right. And her office is still in the, the Waitley location. No, no, no. It's moved to Frontier. Oh, sorry, moved. Yeah. Did they uh, move to Frontier? Not yet. I don't think. Oh, I thought they did. I, I mean, they're planning, but I don't think I'll find out from her this week when I see her okay. out the Cape. Okay. But I, I think that was for the December time. I think they were going. Oh, what? I could oh, be wrong. They could have no, moved it up no, without I, their. I thought it was. Well, you know what? It's just the beginning. I mean, this is just yeah. November first. So right. I could be wrong. I mean, they may have moved up their schedule, but I'll I'll, okay. I'll get an update this week when I, I see her. I thought it was her. this month. Oh, maybe it is. But yeah. it is. But it it's, is. It's, it's only the first. Quick. I know. I? I'm. I. Go ahead. Can I make a quick statement? Sure. Um, I just wanted to thank so much. I wanted to thank the farmers who came out last night and the um, Deerfield Police and the Deerfield Fire and all the volunteers that came out to do the ha uh, Halloween Hayride yes, last night at, the, really at nice. uh, the elementary sure. school and, and through town. They were just wonderful. The kids loved it. We had like, I don't know, it must have been six or seven wagons full of uh, kids um, going around town and the fire trucks are bla you know, blazing and uh, their horns and it was really, really good. And then we got back and they all, all the volunteers, I saw Bruce St. Peter's and Sharon and everybody uh, had cider donuts and stuff for the kids and all the kids kind of paraded their costumes around on stage. So um, I just wanted to thank the town for all they did um, to make it a really special night for all the kids. And Old Deerfield is, has yes. the uh, um, hayride up yep, there. Yep, they do it. They, they do, do the do second some, one. Yeah. So yeah. that's uh, really sweet too. So. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. Very it's good. wonderful. Yep. It's wonderful that we have such a safe, and happy we had, event. It was great. I mean, we were, um, you know, when the police were out and, you know, canvassing all over town last night, just making sure, um, you know, all the trick-or-treaters were safe. We saw them coming down our road late, late at night, you know, just making sure everyone's good. So I, I want to thank them very much for all they did. Great. I, I also want to point out that, you know, the uh, police patrols have been really good in um, – you know, West Deerfield, even though we're cut off. Oh, good. I have seen, it's, I, I almost swear I've seen more police cars than yep. normal. Um, I mean, they really are circulating. That's so, great. Uh, well, you know, I just maybe really if, if there, I don't know, but if there's one cruiser up there, it doesn't take that long to go around that area. So they, <laughs> and maybe he's just doing. stuck up there all night. <laughs> Poor guy, I don't know. But anyway, it's very, very nice. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like... Everybody has really made, you know, the, the fire department's yep. worked it out. The police, we have police coverage. We have EMS coverage. And even though it's, like, yeah. really an awful thing to have Stillwater Bridge closed, I, I feel like... Communities are coming together. Greenfield's yeah, been people, great. Yeah. You know, everybody's been everybody's there for Everybody's been us. helping each other. Yep. And it's good. It's been very nice. There's been a lot of positive things, even though it seems like we just have a lot of stuff happening. But yep. anyway, we're we moving get on. Um, last thing on the agenda is... Um, uh, a letter, revised letter of engagement for Attorney Canoff. He is the attorney that's representing Montague, South Hadley. There's five towns. Mm -hmm. uh, Northampton, is it Amherst, and us. Yeah. And um, it's um, 
It went to the hearing officer, uh, the DPU hearing officer, and he expressed discomfort that the attorney was representing the five towns, plus the municipality, mm -hmm. plus um, New England plan, which mm -hmm. is the pipeline yep. against the group, nonprofit that was not part, that is not a um, intervener. intervener. Correct. So um, we have, we are re-signing the letter of, uh, you know, our relationship, but mm -hmm. um, the donation of $10,000 from plan to pay for the attorney is, they have actually hasn't really started the charges yet. Okay. Because um, he's still, Montague has still had money from previously. So, okay. Um, so it's the same money donation, same deal that he will contact us if it costs us anything beyond the 10000 donation. To see if we approve it. And, yeah. yeah, to see if we yep. approve it. And um, it is the same letter. It's just with the removing. But it's removing. It's only plan the New municipalities England. and okay. not Plan New England. Um, so, so let me make a motion. Yes. Oh no, I have. Well, I have yes. here the language. Oh yes, yep. that's what you have to read exactly. Yep. Inter, uh, so uh, I make a motion that the town of Deerfield designate Attorney Richard Canoff of Burns and Levinson as special counsel representing the town of Mass Department of Public Utilities Proceedings DPU 16-103 or any subsequent number for this proceeding, and that the town designate same as a special municipal employee and file such certification with the town clerk as provided under Mass General Law Chapter 268A, Section 17. Will you second it? Or do you oh, want me? I'll second it. Okay. So I um, wasn't sure if you paused or <laughs> you yeah. still had more that to go. It. <laughs> Trevor uh, made the motion and Kip second. You know this stuff by heart. The minute he stopped, you like <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I but I this is this going. has to be um, forwarded to. I mean, we have to do this exact thing to, and we have to file it with the town clerk. So I got to make sure that this is correct. Yep. Um, if there is no further discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. Um, uh, uh, and I. Oh, I need to be authorized to sign. Is that okay? Do you yes, I authorize you to sign. I'll authorize you to sign as well. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Why do you have to be authorized to sign that, but what we don't have to be authorized to sign the payroll or other things like that? Um, well, it, because it's a, signa, signa, a single signature, okay. and uh, you're authorizing me to sign for us. Okay. Whereas if we all three sign, you don't have to authorize anybody because no. our vote is good enough. Do we don't have any warrants tonight? No, this is an off night. Okay. We're just meeting every night because, yep. I mean, keeping, we have no other way to keep in yep. touch. It's fine. Um, and, um, I have a question. Earlier, um, we got these, this information. Trevor, did you go to a seminar of some sort? I yes. did. Get this. So I did. Why don't you talk about it, okay, Trevor, because so, uh, it's actually pretty exciting. Yeah, Saturday uh, I spent the morning and part of the afternoon at uh, Holy Cross in Worcester for uh, selectman training for kind of seminar conference, okay. fall conference. And we had... Um, let's get to my agenda. So we had a... Um, Let's see, we had a welcome and a legislative update from MMA from John Robertson. He's talking about what's going on on Capitol Hill and um, with the budget. And then we had keynote speaker, um, Speaker of the House, Robert DeLeo, um, or DeLeo. And then um, he, he gave some background on what's going on and up, up on Capitol Hill and again with the budget. And he, um, so he doesn't believe that Charlie Baker's um, going to be looking at local aid for a cut. Um, there's, 9C. Or excuse me, 9C, um, which is local aid and some other things for, um, because we are, uh, you know, tax revenues have, um, sales tax revenues have come in less than they had hoped. Uh, so, but they're taking a wait and see for a little bit right now. They're not going to wait that long before they have to cut some things, but it won't be um, 9C, it won't be you know, local aid cuts, so, or, or education, I think. 
So, uh, so that was that was done. And then there were a couple breakout sessions. One was on budgeting um, that I went to, and then the second one was on open meeting law and public public records law. And recently, we have just appointed our town clerk and our police clerk to be um, the clerk of records. I think on yes. on public records. So. Um, there's there's a huge change in that law that's coming into effect. So I gave um, just the, the handouts that were were there on the open meeting law, um, and then on the public records overhaul, and that's probably the largest thing that the state is going to come up with their, um, I, I would say their guidelines for how they're dealing with with um, open records requests, freedom of information requests. Um, so they were saying for municipalities to take kind of a little bit of a backseat right now and see what the states do and probably adopt what some of the larger agencies are doing as far as. Um, I think that's what Barbara was talking about. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So that'll, that'll come into effect, you know, in January. And then I think municipalities have until July to kind of get their things in order and there's, you know, 10 day now, and then there's different ways to, um, um, you have to comply, but you also can request for an extension and you can bill for the time that it, it can only be a certain amount. And so there's a lot going on. And can I you think- you still get the check up front? That was the main thing. Uh, yes, I believe you can be paid okay. up front. Um, and then certain, uh, I think for state, it's different from the states and the municipalities. So states, you can't charge for the first four hours. And I think for the, for the towns you can. So um, MMA lobbied heavily on, on the town's behalf to um, have some of the some of the protection for us and help for us because a small town like this, it can just eat up a ton of time and they can ask for anything they want and just kind of constantly sucking up time, getting them records on things. So was there any um, discussion on when it becomes abusive? Mm -hmm. You know, like if you have, say you have an individual that comes in and says, you know, I want all of this. Yes. Then they come in the next day and I want this and I want right. this and I want right. that. And, you know, it, it's. You have to comply, but you, ha but you can appeal to, um, to the attorney general, I, I believe. And uh, there's, a, there's a hearing officer that will kind of look at case by case. And the lawyer who's doing the presentation said it, there, people are going to be testing the waters. And um, it's going to be hard for that division to keep up with the. Requests for extensions, requests for clarifications. It's um, so, some towns just sitting in the audience when when we were listening. There there are some actors in some towns that just really just bog down city hall and spend a ton of money asking for what, what information are, that they want. What are the penalties if you don't comply timely? Ex in other words, expensive. I don't know what it, if it's if do they have. I don't know, but. Not That's where they put the it, teeth in. So uh, let's see. The court um, finally, the court may award punitive damages against the defendant agency or municipality in the amount of one thousand to five thousand if the requester obtains judicial relief and has demonstrated that the agency or municipality did not act in good faith um, in withholding or failing to produce the requested record or assessing an unreasonable fee. It is important to note that the uh, imposition of any penalties under the act are assured, uh, see, are assessed on the public entity, not the individual, including RAO. I'm not sure what that means, but. Trevor, what is, what is the timeline when somebody. Uh, so, timelines, uh, great question. The timelines are, um, oh, compliance time frame. So, 10 business day rule. They went to business day. So, you yep. have 10 business, business days. days to get it done. So, the. Um, R O R A O. That must be record. Records access officer. Okay, that's the, our I clerks. Know, yep. That. Thank you. Yep. The acronyms must permit inspection or provide a copy of a public record within ten business days. Did um, anybody ask the question? What happens if it goes to twelve or fourteen days? Does you that can, trigger? You can get the extension. You have to request an extension. And he said, if you're gonna, if you see that the request is just time consuming yeah. and you can't produce that yeah. like you may not hold all the records sure. you may have to go get them then immediately you want to you want to send in a re a request um, petition for extension within 20 business days from the receipt of the request or within 10 business days from a determination that the supervisor of records 
that the record sought uh, is a public record. And I don't, so if I, it takes you longer. I, the question I had asked in one of those meetings was if, like, say we're doing the election, Barbara is our mm -hmm. public right. access officer, and she is tied up doing elections and has to do all the paperwork related to elections, and someone comes in with a complicated request, mm -hmm. okay, that would trigger her just to automatically ask for the extension because she can't physically. You ask the extension from? From the attorney general. Sorry, attorney general. Okay. Yeah, it's the supervisor. If you feel you can't do the workload associated with it, you just but that, automatically then that do doesn't it. trigger trigger a penalty because no you know, right because okay. you're off the hook in but the sense a, you have a legitimate reason and, to ask for it. it's not that okay. it could be granted but it does sure. d not start it, I mean okay. you, you won't get a penalty because you have you've, requested you've it. requested that because there's a lot of things that you may have to provide but need to be redacted may go before uh, you well, can the police clerk too that yeah they have so to all go that privacy yeah. stuff needs to be uh, redacted and it may need to go before council because you're not you know you don't want to get fined for putting out public information as well so you can also petition the supervisor for fees of up to twenty five dollars and if you can find a lawyer to do that work for twenty five dollars would be in luck so uh, you can petition for higher than that fee if you can see that you're going to have a lot of I see, you know okay. it gets really deep uh, but they're right. all photocopy like oh I did give you this yeah yeah so if you read through that there's a lot of information there's a through I which are kind of what we need to do no, this is to be the second page of no, uh, that's the open meeting did I give you this no one? you just gave me this um, one did I do? Oh, let me. Well, that's okay. I'll go. Know, that's all right. I'll yeah. go photocopy I don't, I don't this. Need it, Trevor. That's fine. It's pretty good to uh, to read, though. I thought I gave you. Maybe I just did this one. Yeah. We, okay. yeah, we have right. this one. So I'll photocopy this before I go. So okay. I think it probably because it had notes on it. I didn't give that's it. That's but. okay. I, I got the gist of it. And if yeah. I need to know, I'll come ask. <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, but you don't it want is, more paper for your desk no. at home? No. <laughs> but it is actually really important to have some ability to. Um, you know, request an extension yeah. because of workload thing. Yeah, they recognize and, and it, that. And if we get like a, you know, the, if a police, a request for the police clerk to do something that has to do with EMS and you have the HEPA requirements and you might have a complicated yep. redaction kind of thing that you need, you know, she has to check with someone to make sure it's not, you know, I mean, they do a lot of stuff, so they maybe have it down. But I'm just saying, if there's a complicated thing, you just automatically ask for that extension. That yes. Was, that was what. Yeah. So you got that impression? I did. I okay. did. He said this the best. Do it day one sure. if you're not yeah. sure. If it's something simple and you can just get it off the server or an email or something simple, just just. But that's why right away. one of the reasons why we're trying to avoid all the hassle of this is to put everything on our website. Absolutely. And then people can search to, anything they want. Just right. search yep. whatever. I and want so as all the much minutes, as we can do. everything goes on mm -hmm. the... And so that keeps us from having to comply. Yeah, they can just get it. Because they, they said if you can get it electronically, that's yeah. the first thing that they should be getting is electronic stuff, yeah. not photocopying. Because you can charge, obviously... Oh, 25 yeah. cents a page or something like that. But Five cents our, a page, black our, and white. I mean, it, it's hard to go back and get all our stuff on that website, but mm -hmm. going forward, we're trying to put everything Absolutely. on the website so that we compliance is very is much easier. Our okay. New, yes. Well, it, but our it's new always, person it's will really, help with all of this. <laughs> I know, but this is so wonderful to have you go because yeah, no, it was good. It was very educational. I, I enjoyed it's it. It's complicated. It is. And, and scary for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, this is heavy duty stuff. So they I did appreciate lobby a lot on our behalf to protect us monetarily from I know. from a lot of this stuff. I so. know. Oh. Okay, so um, tomorrow night, Kip and I are meeting with um, the um, commu um, capital planning. Committee. Okay. Yep. Um, and then next Wednesday, we're having. Um, 6.30, we're having a sewer study. Um, Joint meeting with the sewer study commission, yep. and that'll be our public hearing. Right, and yep. I was wondering, Kip, would it be all right with you um, if that's not too long, we could have the public hearing for um, the, the raising the age of the cigarettes to 21? Would that be oh, that's okay? Fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure we, we get mm -hmm. that done before the start of the year. It's not a big thing, but we got to put it in the newspaper and mm -hmm. stuff. So public hearing to um, raise the age to 21 to for match tobacco. the surrounding state for tobacco products, mm -hmm. right? Which is the vaping and 
all the kids well, chew stuff. Well, use tobacco. Well, no, it's nicotine. Nicotine, but so yeah, should you reword it when you do well, it in tobacco? Or? Um, I have all the wording from um, the yeah. state. Okay. I can ask Michelle, too. I'm sure she's... Okay, she'd we'll have her come it. because she yeah, might have input. Yeah, it would probably have, be helpful. Yeah, because um, we'll post this as a public hearing for that. Um, That's, oh, 16, but I have, I have from Cheryl uh, Sabara. She's the Board the ninth. Right. That's the ninth. Right. Yeah, the, from the ninth. The, the ninth. ninth, is it? Did you yeah. hear that? You'd be here on the ninth. <laughs> <laughs> but that, it's, it's to cover vaping because I yeah. think the vaping thing is much scarier, actually. It's it's you know yeah, it's it's they're not both good. bad yeah well they're trying they're targeting kids and mm -hmm. I, I can't stand that um, and then when our next meeting after that is um, November sixteenth mm -hmm. five thirty is the public event yes. um, for TAs yeah. uh, town administrator interviews and then there is no meeting Thanksgiving week thank you guys and then, turkey. and then Tuesday we're going to meet on the 29th. okay okay. okay. So that's Tuesday again on the 29th for people, not yes, Wednesday. Yes, right. Do we have payroll to sign here? Um, no, not this is an off today. week. Oh, okay. So there's not even payroll today. Okay, I will take entertain a motion to adjourn. Well, motion to adjourn. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Great. Good job.